So this is a little lesson about every one of us. This tea bag here has a name. He's not just a tea bag. His name is Henry. And Henry is just a good old boy. You know, he's always, you know, just trying to be a good guy, but we know that just doesn't seem to cut it. So one day, he decided to finally give in to his friend who always invited him to church. And he said, hey, you got to come visit our church. It's really, really good. So he did. He said, okay. Well, he really liked all the stuff he was hearing. He said, this is amazing. This is fantastic. So he started coming, and he came out of the world, and he came to church. And he left that old nasty world behind him, got rid of that world, and now he is coming to church, and he thinks, this is neat. <clears throat> well, we all know that there's not an, it's not enough just to come to church. You have to do a little bit more than that. In fact... He still had a lot of stuff hanging on him. He had all the things he used to be. He was a thief. He was a bad guy in some ways. Some people knew him as a desires that he had. He still wanted all that stuff. He still wanted to, to maybe be around his bad friends. And he had all of those strings still tying him to the world. Well, he kept coming to church and doing better. And one by one, all those strings were pulled away until finally... He didn't have any of those things that were pulling on him anymore. He didn't have any strings left. <clears throat> but, you see, Henry still wasn't saved. He still hadn't been uh, baptized. He still hadn't repented. He'd been full of the Holy Ghost. So Henry one night gave his life to God. And he repented and said, God, I'm sorry for all that junk. And God opened him up. And see all that dirty sin inside of him? God said, I'm going to take care of that for you. So he got opened all up. And I should have thought of a better place to put this. Is there somewhere I can pour this where it's not maybe a paper plate? So he repented that night and all that junk got dumped out of him. All that yuck, yuck stuff. And he was finally free of all that sin. Oh, he felt like a weight had been lifted off of him. It was wonderful. He felt free. Free at last. All of that junk. He was so happy. That night he got baptized in Jesus' name. He was excited. And he got filled with the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> it was a neat night. Well, you know, the Bible talks about that the Holy Ghost is just like fire. And one day the rapture is going to come. And only if you're ready, only if you're truly clean and truly right and ready, will you rise to meet him in the air. So this here... Is going to, we're going to see if he was truly ready. Well, the rapture came one night and the fire came. And let's see what happened with Henry. Was he really living right? And yes, he was. He rose to meet Jesus in the air. And that's what happens when you live for God and you repent and baptize in Jesus' name. But sometimes, if you get the wrong kind of guy, not the wrong kind of guy, but maybe he doesn't commit himself completely, they won't rise. <clears throat> and the moral is, try the generic brands, and they do not work. Some of them do, some don't. Try them out. This is a really uh, neat, easy lesson.